The first time I heard Digital Underground, I was in the first grade. My homie Lace brought it over and he dubbed it on a mixtape. I would do the Humpty Hump and perform it with verses. Twelve years later, I learned that Shock G and him were the same person. I loved Hammer, I can't front. He taught me how to dance. Along with Belle DeVoe, I had J.O.'s and a pair of zebra pants. But this was the foundation of what would come to be a lifelong passion, journey, and drive. And then see, some people ask me what it means. I don't know where to start. It's the deepest connection between my soul and my heart. When I first stepped into a cipher and a jam in the park, I got served. Nah, for real, I got served. But see, I learned something. Observed others and watched an urge, hunger, birth, study, I earned a turn on that block. I don't care who you are, where you from, or what you believe in. But if you love hip hop, I bet it's more or less for the same reason. This is it. When you spit, you exist in that moment. And if you're sick with that gift, then you rip it when you perform it. Then all the shit that you live begins to lift up your shoulders. And the audience will they get to experience where your soul is. The most amazing feeling, rocking the crowd to your anthem. To the front, to the back, with their motherfucking hands up. Cause I'm an MC, won't be the first, won't be the last. Just another B boy, and I'ma die in my stand. If you got a pen and a pad, put your heart. Down. If you got a record and King Crab, lay a scratch down. Oh, yeah. If you got a marker and a can, bomb your art now. If you got a floor and your fast, kick that ill style. If you got a pen and a pad, put your heart down. If you got a record and King Crab, lay a oh, scratch yeah. down. Yeah. If you got a marker and a can, bomb the whole damn town. But if you live for hip hop, don't ever put your hands down.